assume command. Does that mean winning a championship? Because that's what you're paying him for. You paying him wherever he goes, they're gonna be instant contenders, no matter if he stays with the Clippers or if he goes to Golden State or if he's traded to uh, uh, the Knicks or traded. Watched it because that's why I'm getting him. I'm not getting him to be a, a tutor for a young team. I'm getting him to win a championship. And so if you look at Paul George, he's a prize of free agency right now, as you, as you mm -hmm. mentioned, because people feel like he's going to be their missing piece to a championship. And if those three or four teams mm -hmm. acquire him, then he'll, and they win a championship, mm -hmm. then he'll be worth the money. Because one of the things that you hate the most, I believe, Skip, is the up and down player. One minute he's good, the next minute he's down. No, I mean, that, ain't, that hasn't been Paul George. Paul no. George's been consistent across the board. He's averaged 23 points over the last four years. He's, he's averaged uh, uh, rebounds five to six over the last four years. Field goal percentage 46 to 47 over the last four years. Um, three point percentage 39 to 41. That's all the same to me. That's Pretty as good. consistent as you get. So if they win a championship, then yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be worth it mm. for sure to give him the 220 odd mil, 20 something million dollars of guaranteed money. Yep. It's gonna be worth it. But if they don't win a championship, then you're gonna say, We did all this to not win a championship. Was it worth it? Well, it would be worth the gamble for sure. Yeah, I think you do it. I think he's worth whatever anybody's willing to spend. But if he puts you in championship contention, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. You know, even if since for me to say, Hey, I'm going to give George a max contract to go to Sacramento as an older player. Nice. Now, if he was younger, you know, I, I get it. But, like, you know, teams like Philly, you know, or even resigning with the Clippers. I'm not sure why the Clippers don't just line them up with, with Kawhi. They haven't even had an opportunity to see what that looks like in a full playoff run without them being injured. So, I mean, I like what he gives, but he has to be on a team where there's a bona fide 1A star. Yep. You know, I, I, I just think, you know, with Paul George, he has to be that 2A star for you on a contender. And that's why we, we keep bringing up Philly. And in that case, you're probably paying him to be, like, the third best player, you know, second best, first best on any given night. So, like, if I could put him in that situation with this money to where we're a contender, it makes all the sense in the world. You know, he's getting up there at age. He's 34 years old. I'm committing four years till he's 38. Will he still be this type of player at 37, 38? So how big is our window actually going to be? You know, so you have to take all those things in account. Like, at 34, will he be the same at 36, even two years from now, where I need him to be second best player or third? Maybe he fits more in that third category since he's getting up there at, at age. So Philly makes the most sense for that type of money for the Clippers. But anywhere else, I I'm not sure I mortgage my, my cap space for mm. an aging, you know, star who but he, I don't need him to be a 1A. Yeah. So. But is he, is he aging or, or are we assuming he's aging? Because, well, again, mean, he's been consistent for the last four years across the board. He's been the most consistent guy for the Clippers. Yeah, in his role. You yeah, know, but that's okay. That role, but, which but is, that's which is okay. Great. Yeah, that is okay. That? that is okay. You know, but it just looks a lot different when you're asked to carry a team every single night. It yeah. looks a lot different. But it ain't a you whole know, lot of those like, in y'all game, no Like, ball. LeBron has been able to do it at the at the age of 39 and now 40, and, 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 and it just... You know, you have to wonder, like, everybody's not going to be LeBron as they age. Everybody's not going to be... Everybody's not going to be a Steph Curry as they age. Everybody's not going to be a KD as they start getting into the 35, 36-year-old range. Yeah. The reason the Clippers haven't lined him up with Kawhi is what you just said. He's not a number one. You were saying 1A, but it's actually a number one, and, and he is... He's actually a 1A to, to the number one, right? Like... You're doing 1A and 1B, is it? But the number one guy is Kawhi Leonard, and they paid him that way. And now they just hang on for dear life that he can stay somewhat healthy. The point is that they're not going to pay Paul George Kawhi money because they don't think he's... No, they want to pay yeah. him Kawhi's money. He wants more no, but years. I, they, they haven't done it yet. They, they haven't yeah. committed yeah. the same years and money that they committed to Kawhi, and I don't think they will to Paul, but I could be wrong. Maybe they'll in the next few days, ante up. Mm -hmm. 
but I'm with Paul in that d despite all your numbers, and they're all really good, because yeah. he is really good. And he's good. Yeah. We act like this dude is... But here's no, the problem. He can't play. No, we, no, we didn't say he couldn't play. Paul George is really good. Yeah. The, the problem, Keyshawn, is when you get to 34 after 14 years, I don't see him play wing defense the way he used to. Kawhi doesn't either. That's why the Clippers have been fallible to me. They, they, they can't lock you up and lock you down on defense the way they used to. So now, can, can, he, can he walk in the door and become your superstar? Well, he, he's never really been that. He wasn't that guy in Indiana. It's what LeBron just owned him in Indiana. LeBron, I know he had D-Wade. But we're not asking him yeah. to do that, no. Skip. Okay, but if you're going to pay him that kind of money, you're going to pay him superstar money, right? Well, you're, I mean, yeah. You're, you're going to pay him but, the but man that, money. But he's that piece... Yeah. That you're looking for okay. on a championship contending team. If okay. he, like I said to you, whatever team he goes to, they're instant contenders. Okay. If, if he goes to Philadelphia, we got to get him some diapers. Because Paul yeah. going to be messing in his pants. You think so? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay. No, yeah. no. Nah, nah. Okay. They're a threat. That'll be mm. the only threat if he goes there to Philly. Yes. Yeah, that'll be a threat. Okay. Okay, so every time he's been asked to be the guy to come up big in big moments, he really hasn't. And if you look at his playoff history, even with the, the years with, that he was with Russell Westbrook in Oklahoma City, Russ would have huge games, and then they would need Paul to come to the party, and he wouldn't come to the party. And that, and that was when Melo was there briefly, yeah. and Melo yeah. was chuckling at the notion that he called himself Playoff P. You know, <laughs> Carmelo chuckled at that. Chuckled like, at that. Playoff P? Really? <laughs> okay, because he's really not that, that guy. So the, the, the point is, alongside Kawhi, he was always the, the second star. And he's a really good second star yeah. because, listen, when he gets going, he is 6'8", he's long, he's strong, he's smooth, he's got a sweet three-point shot with range, yeah. like like serious range mm -hmm, to it. Mm -hmm. So all that's there. The tangibles are there. I don't know if the in, the intangibles make him the man, the superstar that you'd pay but, that money to, but you're just saying the market says you well, got to pay him. The market says you got to pay yeah. him, yeah. Yeah. Skip. Yeah. Not only does the market say he doesn't have to be the man. He doesn't right. have to be. This is why if he goes to a team, Philly, potentially Golden State, uh, uh, the Knicks stay at the Clippers. He's not the man, but he's your two. Your twos make fifty million dollars a okay. year. Yeah, right. that's just what it is. That's yeah. what the two make. Okay, so you're just saying that's the going rate. It's the going that rate. is the going rate. The, the going rate. For, for, yeah, absolutely. He's he's lucky in that in this market, it it's not overpopulated with stars. This free agent market is it's kind of him, right? There, well, I mean, you, it depends on look. I like DeMar DeRozan. Mm. What is that? Mm. Like, what is okay. DeMar DeRozan? I like DeMar. Same. So, yeah. it, it just depends on what you're looking for to fill yeah. that particular hole. That's why when you, you talk about the Knicks, Paul, and you say, well, if they got Paul George along with what they just did with Mikael Bridges and they let OG go, <laughs> they close the gap a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's okay. the reason why. Yeah, yeah, Paul George, I mean, look at his resume. A perennial all-star. Yes. I mean, he's probably one of the most... So, so in my eyes, he's one of the top three most gifted offensive players in the league. When yeah. you talk about the levels where he scored, the way he handles the ball, the way he finishes at the rim, the way he shoots the three, and his creativity, I mean, he's worth that. I mean, on a championship team, absolutely. And that's what every, every championship team needs a guy like Paul George. Yeah. yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Because when you look at the Celtics, they have Tatum and Brown. And then when you look at past... Champions, they have that dynamic wing that you need. Yeah. You have to have that dynamic wing guard, and Paul George fits the mold on a championship team. Mm. Okay. And, and Philadelphia. What, what year did he get him to the Western Conference Final? What year was that? When he was with. Uh, no, he got no. Clippers to the Western Conference Final, right? Oh, to the Western Conference Final. Oh, yeah, what year was that? A couple years ago, because Kawhi didn't play. Kawhi wasn't but there. But he basically he, balled he, out. He went crazy. He balled out Versus Phoenix. until they got to the. Elimination game it was game six out here, and Chris Paul went berserk. Yeah, but he can't do it all. No, no. Mm -hmm. no but he did play very well. He played that, very that well. That was the best stretch of his career. I would give you that. Yeah, 2021, that's what okay. it was. Yeah. So 
let's say he goes to okay. wherever he goes, how much does that hurt the Clippers? 